Why my bad bitch I'm pretty than a motherfucker Hoss me looking okay yeah. She gonna be fucking with me Is this bitch okay? <laughs> he said he ain't fucking around I look at him like okay I used to be I a guy man I bitch I okay I'm pretty than a motherfucker Hoss me looking okay She said that she fucking with me Is this bitch okay? Street shit so ratchet. Call me JT, aka the Soul Snatcher. Okay. I'm with a booster, scholar, and a pole dancer. Pussy nigga, call my phone, he won't get no answer. Nah, fuck these niggas, fuck them. And fuck these hoes, who you can't fuck with me, fuck what a bitch told okay. you. Sexy black motherfucker. Yeah. He came on the wood, I'm watching Jimmy Butler. Bitch, since I came home, I've been killing every summer. That real boss bitch, and I started as a runner. Like Teddy said, pretty. Because it has been raining. I went to the building like two weeks ago. And that was like the start of this raining pattern here in Atlanta. It's raining literally like every day for like the past two weeks. Even if it's just for an hour, it's gonna rain. Um, I literally been to work and it just starts pouring down right now, like when I'm at work. So I think it's from the effects of the Hurricane Barrel. And um, to those who have experienced a hurricane barrel um, my prayers go out to you and your family i hope that everybody is okay that everybody's safe and that you are recovering um as well as you can um due to the circumstance i know the hurricane hit houston um because i watched a couple uh vlogs from my favorites um who are in houston and they didn't have power I know it hit Mexico, it hit Jamaica, and some other places. I hope that everybody is doing okay since the hurricane. Um, but I think that's why we're getting all of this, you know, rain. Um, I don't know. So, I have a plan to go to Stone Mountain Park. I want to go hike up the mountain. But I don't know if that's going to work. As I was saying, I want to go to Stone Mountain Park. I got my phone because I want to tell y'all like this rain has been crazy so as of 9 a.m. it's a 50% chance of rain at 10 it's a 45% chance 11 40% 12 35% and it's supposed to stop around one that's in my area and according to the forecast it's supposed to rain every day from today and the mind has been already raining about two weeks y'all um until Friday okay this coming Friday and so then I was like let me look up Stone Mountain let me see what Stone Mountain got going on so Stone Mountain same thing so at 9 a.m. it's pretty much the same 50% uh, 10 45% 11 40% 12 35% and at 1 it's supposed to stop so um, and same thing out there supposed to rain every day up until Friday so I don't know I really want to go I'm just gonna try to play by ear so today it's gonna be a play by ear depending on the weather um we gonna do something I want to go out the house with something and go get something to eat I don't know um so I uh, will see um uh, if but what I'm gonna do is I'm um, just continue to watch the weather Go ahead and eat my breakfast, finish watching this movie I'm watching, and then I'm going to probably see y'all in a little bit. Um, next time y'all see me, I will probably be getting ready to go somewhere, or yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, 
This is a plan by every day. It's really all depending on the weather. But I really just wanted to come start off the vlog, let y'all know what's the um, plans for today, and then I will just see y'all in a minute. Uh, so I decided I'm gonna go. It's almost 11:30. It hasn't really been raining, so I was like, you know what? Like I'm not fin about to let the chance of rain them for my day. Um, I did check the weather out in the Stone Mountains. It's currently not raining out there, so I think we're good. So I have on a two-piece, and I'm going to put on my gym shoes. I'm going to show y'all that in a minute. But I'm getting my purse ready. I'm going to take my fanny pack so I can just put this around my waist. Um, and I'm not going to take my camera because I don't feel like lugging my camera with me. So... At least not up there. Um, I need something like small, compact, and compact because I'm going to be all the time using my phone for new footage. But yeah, so I'm about to finish getting ready and I'm going to show y'all what I'm wearing and we're going to head out. So let's do an outfit check. So I have on this two piece. I got this from DD's for $6. It's this gray top. Got this little open part here. These are the leggings. And y'all, this is a small, medium. And it don't feel like a small meat. I had the jump in these. It has no stretch. But we made it work. I got on my Nikes. I got on my fanny pack. I got some glasses in the car just in case I need them. And yes. And I got on the Apple Watch so I can track my time and everything. So off we go. I'm going to see y'all in the car. So I have made it to where I'm parking. So I'm parking at this church. I was on TikTok and one uh, one of the creators on there said they park here at this church every time they come. So there is another car in this lot, so I think I'm good. Um, no ticket, no toast, nothing like that. Um, so I didn't show y'all before I left the house. Ooh, my finger all in the way, my bad y'all. Um, I'm on my phone, I got my water here this insulated cup sweat so much y'all but let me go ahead um i put in my gps how long it takes to walk to the park it says eight minutes so let's get to it um so i will see y'all when we get closer to the park what has begun um we are now walking up the mountain I got a little water on my shoes. And it is a little wet in some places, so it's just like you gotta be careful because it could be a little slippery. But yeah, I just started and I feel it already. So we're gonna check in throughout, let y'all know how we do it. So yeah, let me focus on this trail so we are going up we're a little ways up now um i forgot how time genesis is but all the rocks going different ways Joxy, i'm sweating <laughs> but it feels good to be outside. So we about to just keep walking up this path. Let me show y'all what we working with. All right, so we are halfway. So I'm gonna show y'all something. Feels like a little area you can sit, y'all. I'm, I'm breathing heavy. But yeah, this is like a halfway point. drenching sweat but we have made it pretty much to the top just a little bit more to go and we are on our way up to the top i hope that is not done i'm here because i will run down this hill but yeah i don't get too close because i'm scared of heights but we'll get close enough so yeah we made it we did it we did it I'm about to sit down for a couple of minutes on one of these rocks. Got it myself. We finna go back down. I ain't going top top. I'm not doing that. That's too much. <laughs> I don't like heights, so not doing that. It's 
sweat is dripping. That's crazy. But yeah, let me sit down for a minute. The sound is back. I've been talking to y'all for a quick minute. Like it just feels so good to accomplish something. And I feel like when you accomplishing something, this is like a lesson for real. Like when you're accomplishing something in life, you don't have to accomplish it in the way that other people do. You can set your own. Ooh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, you can set your own, set your own bar. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to the side. That's too much for me. I'm good right here. I can see the top. I made it. We did that in 37 minutes. Um, going down is easier. But you know, it's just a lesson that to get to the top, everybody take their own journey, their own path. Um, you may not get there as fast as others, but as long as you get there, you good. So, y'all feel good. I'm finna share what my marsh looking like. So, y'all might have to sit here for a couple minutes, drink me some water, go back down this hill, and I think we finna find just something to eat, y'all. But it's been so nice. Ooh, I need to come do this more often. <laughs> y'all, look at me high, sweating, like, this is the real me, but I love doing stuff like this. So let me take my little break, get down this hill. I'm going to see y'all when I get back to the car. We are on our way down. So we are back at the bottom. It's currently 1 oh, 06. Oh, y'all, I'm finna go pee. Back to the car. <laughs> Find me some food. I may or may not pick y'all back up when I get home, but if I don't, I'll see y'all back at the house. So I am back home. So um, it's 2.23 now. It's, um, I stopped at Walmart and picked up a few things and then I came home because Walmart was on my way um, back. So I passed the Walmart, went in there, and now I'm back home. First thing I did, y'all, I jumped in the shower because, let me tell y'all, like, it wasn't as hot today. I'm so thankful it wasn't, like, I'm so thankful that it wasn't, like, 90 degrees today. I think today the temp is, like, 80, and it was kind of cloudy, so it wasn't as hot walking. But when I tell y'all, you still... But I was still sweating and I was like I need to take a shower <laughs> before I go back out so yeah so it was nice um so Stone Mountain Park they have different trails sometimes they have different events going on up there I've only been to the trail but I don't have other parts of Stone Mountain that you could visit as well um to get into the park and park in the park it's $20 per day or it's a $40, a $40 annual pass. You could use that unlimited anytime. That's good for a whole year. Um, I chose to park at a church down the street that I found on TikTok. Um, somebody was saying they parked there. So I parked there. didn't have any issues. I was only gone. I got back to my car about 1.20. So I would say, um, just being honest, anywhere you park in that's not at the park um just park at your own risk but i didn't have any issues i was there a short period of time so i think if it's a short period of time you should be okay so i i got some pizza i had pizza in the oven yesterday and i'm about to eat this because i'm hungry um i was gonna stop and get something to eat but i was like well it's still early and i'm gonna need something to eat later so um, honestly, I don't know if I'm going to go back out later. I don't know what's next, y'all, but I'm going to pick y'all back up when we figure it out. Um, but I just wanted to come give y'all a recap of that. It's a little bit later. It's like 6 o'clock now. And I went and got me something to eat from Chipotle. Um, I was just laying down. I watched the series on Tubi. I can't remember what the name of it was. I'm gonna get the name for y'all. It's called Triangle of Love. It was decent. It was decent. 
So, um, I was laying there and I was like, where I'm going to eat? Because everything sounds good. So, I go for a seafood bowl. I could go for some hibachi. But my thing is, what's the quickest? Um, and I ain't trying to drive far <laughs> to get no food. Um, and I really wanted to go out to eat. But that hike, girl, like, <laughs> that hike took me out for the day. So, I'm going to show y'all a cute $5 meal. Y'all could get a Chipotle if y'all like Chipotle. So, I get the kids meal. Um, if I don't want to bowl, I'll get the kids meal. And I get this if I'm, like, hungry but not, like, overly hungry. And it, it, it fills the spot. So, um, yeah. So, you get, um, you can either get the tacos or quesadilla. And if you get the tacos, you get two. If you get the quesadilla, it comes with one. And you can get um, beans and rice. And um, you get a kid's chip and a, um, I think this is a 16-ounce kid's drink. So these are the chips that you get. Now, they will send you with the chips today. But you know what, that's okay. <laughs> um, but you get the chips. And then you get the uh, meal. So the meal, you got the uh, bean, the beans, the rice, and this is the quesadilla. It's like it's a nice size, you know. Like I said, it's a meal for if you are hungry, but not overly hungry, if that makes sense. So. So yeah, um, I'm about to eat. Of course, you know I got, I got all of their napkins. I think everybody goes in there and just takes all the napkins, all the forks. I got a lot of forks in here too, y'all. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. So, so yeah, I'm about to eat. Um, I'm about to eat because I'm hungry. And I'm about to put on something else to watch. I don't know what yet. I don't know what I'm going to watch right now. But I'm about to go find something to watch. So, yeah. um, That's pretty much all I'm doing. Nothing special. I will probably pick y'all back up a little bit later. Before I go to bed. Um, I didn't get no sour cream. So, I'm going to put some sour cream in here. In this little empty spot I got. And then have this for dipping. And why is it so expensive for like queso and stuff? Like, if you want to side of queso, it's like three dollars. It's the same. Same with guac. Like, I don't understand why it be so much, but I don't know. But anyways, let me go ahead and eat this food, y'all. Um, because I'm starving. We're well, not starving, but I'm really hungry. So I will pick y'all back up a little bit later. So I am back to close out this vlog. I'm gonna make this brief and make this short, y'all. So um, today was a good day. Saw Mountain was great. The hike put me out, but that's okay. That is a okay. Um, I've been resting pretty much all day, y'all. So I got some Chipotle. That food was really good. So um, I ate that. I watched Fat Beach. That's a movie from the '90s. Had never seen that. I watched that and then watch a paint vlog and I have another movie on right now called Pretty Kitty Cartel. Um and oh y'all um disclaimer don't mind my skin. I know it's a little red. It started going haywire a couple hours ago, so don't mind that. <laughs> but um but yeah, so tomorrow Sunday, we shall see what tomorrow brings. This is a weekend vlog, so of course I'm gonna be recording tomorrow um and then yeah so i didn't want to really come on i really don't got much to say y'all um for real uh honestly i'm a little tired so i think i'm about to be sleep soon and um i'm about to just relax really so i just wanted to come back as promised close out the vlog for tonight but i will definitely see y'all in the morning and we will see what tomorrow brings Morning, y'all. It's Sunday. It's July 21st. 
I'm about to get ready to go to the gym. I gotta get my cup ready. Um, put some ice and some water in here. And I'm also going to be trying a Celsius for the first time today. So um kind of excited about that. So let me go ahead and get this um cup together and I'll be right back. Alright, y'all. So I got my water ready and y'all I love this cup. I need to go back to Marshall's and find another one. I need to go to the Marshall's on my job because um, they had these for like $15. So, y'all, I'm going to be trying something new today. I'm going to be trying a Celsius for the very first time. I know y'all girls love y'all Celsius. And I see them all the time when I go to the store. But I'm not really like a pre-workout type of girl and um, or energy drink type of person for real. But I was like, you know what, I'm going to try them. Kroger had them, a digital coupon, $149. You can use it up to five times, so I got five for $7.50. So I was like, this is just a good time to try it. So let me show y'all flavors I got. I got Peach Vibe. I got... um. Peach, mango, and green tea. I got Galaxy Vibe. And I got Break. So this one I have refrigerated. This is the one I'm going to be trying. I got two of the peach, mango, and green teas because I felt like um, I would like those the best. So we're going to go ahead and try this Celsius. Let's see what it's giving. Got my straw. So, first taste. So, 
Um, this week I'm prepping turkey burgers. I'm doing broccoli and I'm doing sweet potatoes. So um, I'm about to go ahead and get this started. So I got my skillet for my meat and my uh, vegetables on the stove already. I actually put this in here. Um, and then I just need to boil my potatoes. So I think I might do some rearranging on the stove. But yeah, I'll be about to do a little bit of meal prepping. Um, I meal prep every week, y'all. <laughs> I just sometimes, like when I'm vlogging, I don't always show it, but I do meal prep every week. And I do plan on doing a full video on that eventually. Because <laughs> I'm saying that for a while now. But um, I'm eventually do like a full video on that. So, so yeah, let me go ahead and get started. So, um... I'm going to show y'all exactly what I'm using. I shop at Kroger a lot, y'all. So, <laughs> y'all know most of my stuff comes from Kroger. So, I have these Bird Eye Extreme, I'm sorry, Steam Fresh Broccoli Forest. But I like to put these in the um, on the stove and let them cook that way. And I usually do just one bag for the week. But it's frozen, y'all. So this is this is the one where if you want to steam it, you can. I think it's like 90 seconds or something like that. Um, well, no, actually not 90 seconds. Let me stop now, y'all. It says up to six minutes. So if you do... I put it in my way because like six minutes it takes this long on the stove so that's why I do it this way so let me go ahead and get some butter I got my broccoli on and my sweet potatoes I just cut my sweet potatoes up in half and then I ended up um putting them in like on the stove in some water so this is the ground turkey that I use it's the Kroger brand all turkey is not created equal. Um, some brands are more watery than others. Like Genio is very, very watery. So if you're trying to make like burgers, it's not good for that. But if you're making like tacos or other things where you're chopping the meat up, meat up, it's good for that. Um, it's another brand too. I get. I can't think of the name of it. But anything, really anything, but the Genio. It's good for like turkey burgers. And turkey burgers is honestly one of my favorite meals to make. So yeah. And then I'm gonna be trying this new seasoning today. It's called adobo. That was already open. Okay. And I got this seasoning from DD. It was like 209. So we're gonna try this and see what flavor it gives. And then I'm gonna make these into patties. I think I'm gonna do four. I don't got no seasoning salt, y'all. I just feel like picking up. Whoa, well, they didn't have it. They didn't have one I wanted, so <laughs> I didn't get none of that. So let me go ahead and get these turkey burgers on, and I'm gonna see y'all in a minute. So I am 90% done with my meal prep. I still got my sweet potatoes. They need a couple more minutes. I want them to be really soft. So while I'm finishing this up, I want to give y'all an update on the Celsius. So for energy, 10 out of 10. I went to the gym, y'all. Um, I felt like I had more energy than I ever had going to the gym. Um, and I even worked out longer today. <laughs> so I usually do like... 30 to 45 minutes i did almost an hour today at the gym like so that tells you the energy the energy that you have and i didn't even drink a whole celsius i drank half of it because people have said the whole celsius you'll be up for like two days um so i need to go to sleep so i didn't drink half and then um i have to change my rating for the taste so initially i gave it a seven out of ten I'm not a big grape person. Um, it tasted like a sugar-free grape drink. 
And I said, okay, it's not bad. But the more I drank it, the aftertaste for the flavor is why I change it from a 7 out of 10 to a 6 out of 10. The more I drank it, the aftertaste got worse. And I noticed that when I first drank it, it had aftertaste. I'm like, okay, this aftertaste not too bad. But, y'all, I had to eat an orange after I drank it because the aftertaste was just there. And it's, I can't even explain to you what it tastes like, but it was just really bad. So, I don't want to discourage you from trying Celsius. I would say that's not a flavor that I would recommend. If you really don't like grape, I don't recommend a grape. We're going to see what the others are hitting for um, as I drink them. I'm going to either do a shorts on them or if I'm doing a vlog and I'm drinking one, I'll tell y'all in the vlog what it tastes like. So either way, I'm going to update y'all on the other three flavors I got. And I will be trying other flavors too. I'm going to try the orange and it's a few other ones um, as well. They got about easily 15 flavors. So... I'm probably going to end up trying most of them to see which ones I like the best. So should I continue to buy Celsius, I know which ones to get. But I just want to give y'all my honest update on that. Um, I feel like I got energy. I haven't crashed. Y'all, I feel like I can conquer anything right now. So, yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm not. Um, I'm about to finish meal prepping, go watch me a movie, and then I'm going to cook a little bit later. But yeah, that is my update on the Celsius. Show you what the meal prep looks like. So I'm going to just show you one. So this is what it looks like. We got the turkey burger, broccoli, and a sweet potato. And with the sweet potato, I will be doing like cinnamon during the week. Um, maybe a little bit butter if I want to. But yeah, that's pretty much it for now, y'all. So I'm about to just relax. And I'm going to pick y'all back up when it's time to eat again y'all i'm back to cook dinner um it is currently raining outside again like it's crazy but it's raining um so i'm glad i did pick up something for tonight because i will be going back outside i'll tell you that so um tonight i am making salmon burgers I get these from Kroger. I don't know if all Kroger sell these, but mine does. Um, you get two salmon burger patties. And I like to cook these in an air fryer. So this is a quick meal. Um, the rice is the microwavable rice. 90 minutes if it's done. So this doesn't require me to turn on my stove or anything. I literally just have to um, put this in the air fryer. I put these on like 350 for like 20 minutes and they come out perfect. So these are the patties and what they look like. Now what I do, I think these are pre-seasoned y'all, but I always end up seasoning them just to give them some taste. So that's what I'm about to do now. I'm about to just season it with my usual seasoning and I do both sides and then I basically remold the burger and put it in the air fryer so super easy quick meal um these are five dollars the burgers and I really like these so yeah that is what the dinner is tonight So, like, I'm seasoning both sides very lightly because I don't want this to be salty. And this adobo, I'm just trying this adobo out to see how it tastes. Heard good things about it. And then that's it, y'all. So, let me show y'all me redoing a patty so I just take the patty reconfigure it so it ain't gonna be all pretty like the patty was before but that is okay we just want to get some seasoning on here and these burgers they come in like different flavors so they have like they have like a spicy I think it was a spicy cheddar 
and um another one too they do have one that has like spinach in it they didn't have that one i got the garden harvest one so this is what my burgers look like after i have reformed them so i'm about to wash my hands go ahead put these in the air fryer put these seasonings back up and i'm gonna come back once these are done and i have the right stuff because that's just going in the microwave and show y'all what it looks like this is what the burger looks like um done i have one on my plate but this one fell apart which is fine because i'm not eating on bread anyways and i have the rice i just added some um butter to it so i'm going to put some rice on my plate to about half of the rice and there you have it a broken up salmon burger with um rice and i got my chick-fil-a sweet and spicy sriracha sauce this is so good y'all and i'm gonna do this over my salmon and that is my dinner y'all so pretty quick and easy didn't require me to turn on my stove at all so yeah i'm gonna eat and i'll be back later um to close out this vlog yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog um, I watched a movie called Vengeance. It was really good, y'all. Um, and I know y'all think I watch a lot. You would think I watch a lot of TV because every time I vlog, I'm always watching movies, y'all. But <laughs> I promise y'all, like, um, it's really on weekends because during the week, I barely turn that TV on or be watching me. Okay, I be on YouTube watching the girls, supporting the girls. Um, so that's what i've been doing um i also been exporting some videos to my hard drive so i can free up some space on my macbook and start editing to um this video this vlog um that will be going up this week it's sunday so it's going up this week so yeah i'm back on my post posting once a week i did miss last week but i am back on schedule so yeah, I really ain't doing nothing. I just took a shower, about to edit for a little bit, relax, and go to bed, and back to regular schedule program tomorrow. So I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video, and I will see you all in my next one.